Oh, we're on the road. We're driving our 67 yep. Impala with the weapons loaded in the trunk, and we're, we're hunting. Let's go. As young boys, we lost our, uh, our mother to something unexplainable, something paranormal. And our father didn't sit real, didn't sit real well with him, so he, he made it kind of his uh, life mission to track down this evil force or this uh, unexplicable thing. And, uh, and deal with it. Um, and in doing so, in making it his life mission, he um, trained his two boys to be equally as uh, skilled knowledgeable and, sort of... and skilled in that craft of yeah. demon hunting, ghost hunting. These two boys grew up weapons training, and fighting, and uh, you know, learning about folklore and mythology and urban legends and, and uh, everything that goes bump in the night. And um, dad set out and, and Dean, my character, followed in his footsteps and, and made it his, uh, his quest as well. And Sam decided to stray from the, uh, from the family biz, so to speak. And by the end of the first episode, he gets yanked back into it. And the two brothers hit the road in somewhat of a search for their father. And along the way, they, uh, they run into to legends and folklore and they deal with them the way they know how. We got work to do. That, that kind of worried me at first. Uh, not that, you know, Charmed and Roswell and Buffy and Angel weren't all great shows in their own right, but I, I, I wasn't interested in doing a show of that genre. And though this is also technically a supernatural show, it's nothing like those, it's nothing like those four. And it's, it's just something that's super special and super unique uh, to the network and to, to both of us. And I was really excited once I read the script, and once I I, uh, I met the uh, the writer Kripke and uh, some of the producers and the director, I, and heard their vision, I was like, wow, like this is going to be insane. We've got the car on set, and we're cruising down that dusty highway for sure. Who gets the drive? Both of us. Both of us. It's his car, but but I I take the helm. I inherited now, yeah. the car from right. Dad, right? But it's it's very much a partnership between the two bros. So are there cars done? Do you guys get to do 360s? I sure hope so. Not quite yet, but we're only the first episode in, so I would assume that that's going to be a large portion of the show for sure. Sorry, I can't hear you. The music's too loud. We've been boxing and weightlifting and running and you know doing cardiovascular training and uh, you know circuit training and stuff and getting our, our bodies into shape so that we can both deal with the days and uh, and and look at look like people who actually know what we're doing and uh, weapons training comes it it, uh, it comes also with that and we kind of do episode to episode say you know we're using a double barrel shotgun sawed off for episode three you know we'll we'll go to the prop masters and we'll uh, we'll explore that and we'll go find a day to go to a range and. You know, kind of tinker around with Get it. Get familiar with, with all the things that we'll be dealing with, for sure. Most of the uh, demons or creatures or spirits are going to be tangible, and so a lot of it can be done just with an actual camera, but there are going to be visual effects, definitely, and special effects every episode. It just depends. Not bad, huh? Yeah, this yeah. isn't made up. This is, I mean, this is Eric Kripke's, you know, genius. He is, he's been thinking about this for you know, nearly a decade and researching now, it. and knows it yeah. like the back of his hand. There's a whole subculture about this folklore stuff. I mean, in everything that we do, you know, laying a salt in a circle and putting cat's eye shells down and stuff, this is all very, you know, uh, relevant stuff to, to this kind of folklore. Yeah. So it's, um, it's kind of neat to be a part of because in a sense, we're also learning about this stuff as well. So you could turn around and look, uh, blink your eyes and, and you're 10 years into the series. Exactly. Because that possibility of this kind of show. I mean, look sure. at Charm, it's been on for like- Look at X-Files, yeah. 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 I think the show has a competition. Yeah, I think it does, especially with Eric Kripke and sort of his vast array like of knowledge so. of, uh, of folklore and mythology and everything. It was really good to see you again.